Hi, I'm Kiera. I'm Kaya. And I'm Lexi, and today we'll be showing you the life as a Westerly student. Westerly's art program is filled with fun and engaging projects. The second graders have been doing a painting slash drawing project. The eighth graders have been working on analogous self-portraits. First, they have to transfer and trace their lines onto a board. Once the lines are transferred, you start painting the lines with the colors you put on your analogous value scales. The first graders make up fun ways to learn the art spectrum, for example, singing songs. Our music teacher teaches two different music classes. All the fourth graders and up have an instrumental class where they get to choose their own instrument. The whole school also has their, a general music class. In PE, the first graders are warming up by jumping over hurdles and playing fun running games. The 4th graders through 8th graders have their own little mentees that they get to play with and mentor. In Spanish, all the students are learning new songs and fun ways to learn colors, numbers, and other key things. Wasn't that great? Now as you can see, Westerly is an amazing place to learn and grow. And now, Landon, Gavin, and Andreas with sports. And now here's Gavin with an interview of one of our middle school volleyball players. Hi, I'm Gavin Kennedy, and this is Paige Bradney on the middle school volleyball team. Okay, we have some questions to ask her. How do you think your team played? Um, I think our team plays very well together. What, was the other team good? Were they challenging to play? The team was really good. They were definitely a challenge because we had never really played together before. So that was definitely a fun game. What are your team goals for this season? Um, so right now we're undefeated. So our team goal is to stay undefeated in the playoffs. Okay. Thanks, Paige. Now we'll go to land with the football next. Early Wildcats middle school volleyball team is doing extremely well, being undefeated currently this season. Their first game of the season, they played Lakewood Christian, crushing them and winning all three games. Let's hope the Westerly Wildcats volleyball team has a great rest of the season. Go Wildcats! Our middle school football team has been playing a great season. They made it to the playoffs, their record being 5-2. and two. They started out strong, beating Santa Fe Springs 35-14. to 14. Some of our star players include Judah Katz, our quarterback, Gio Molina, and Flynn Anderson, our wide receivers, and Ben Stout, our halfback. We hope to see more of them in the future. Go Wildcats! Okay, that's it for sports, and now here's Jake, Cooper, and Tyler with the school events. Hi guys, it's Tyler, it's Cooper, and it's Jake, coming at you live from Westerly School. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, our school had an assembly. During the assembly, we learned and watched performers teach us about Central American, Southern American, and the Caribbean island dances. We celebrated them by watching performers dance. They were really we learned that these places have very difficult dances and songs that people do for fun. It was very fun. During the performance, they allowed us to dance with them. The assembly helped us learn that these places are very creative and are very artistic. The dances that they performed were called the Huna Hungu, Paranda, Gunchi, Wanarangua, and Punta. Those were the dances that were performed with live drumming. The drummers were very good. The dances that were demonstrated for us were called the salsa, merengue, cumbia, and bachita. At the end of the performances, we got to ask questions about the drums and the dances. Some of the students even got to play the drums. All the performers are from Garifuna. The Garifuna speak 32 different languages. There are 21 Spanish-speaking countries. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Paige and Jesse will be showing us about the 6th and 7th grade trip. Hi, I'm Jesse And I'm Paige, and today we will be talking about the 6th and 7th grade trip. Here we are in the 6th and 7th grade trip. 
This year, the 6th and 7th graders went to Santa Barbara for their trip. Some group activities we did. Okay, okay, okay. Now, guys, we have to double we built tents. We went to Santa Barbara to create new friendships and we also learned to step out of our comfort zone and take risks. We went swimming. We went body surfing. And kayaking. During this trip, we made stronger bonds with each other. We all had so much fun on this trip. Thank you, Dave, and all the art staff for making this trip successful.